when drawing, you really need to have confidence in yourself. You can't just expect something to go, going to go well if you don't plan it and go ahead. So if you see here, this is a drawing. Uh, this is a picture that I'm drawing. Um, we are going to be doing the basketball. So we will be looking at the gradient of the basketball and all the highlights in, in the area. So looking at the paper, we have this spot and it highlights right here. So what we can do is if we add small rings as we go through and then add the great shading gradient here. The more highlight you have and the more you get to look realistic, the more ball the more the ball is going to be together and the more it's going to connect. And so as you can see, I'm going very slow. I'm not rushing, I'm not you really want to take your time. With gradient like this, you don't have to get it absolutely perfect because it's just a basketball. But if you see on the face, you want to get it as detailed as possible when you're hitting the highlights or it can screw up the whole thing. So back to the basketball. As you can see, we keep the values as dark as possible. If this line is as dark as it's going to get, this line has to be as dark as it's going to get. Or else, the ball is going to look completely off. And with this kind of gradient, you can always either, one, keep your pencil completely sharp, which is probably the best idea, or if you keep it at a slight angle, it'll be easier to make circles, and it'll be able, you can be able to put those highlights in. And what I like to do if, is if you can't see the gradient, you have a blending stump, and you take it all out, just like that.